Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and on this week's episode I try out motorway services again. Um, now unfortunately no footage from uh, from the journey but I uh, recently went on a trip from Hertfordshire up to Leicester to the National Space Centre and I thought what a good opportunity to use motorway services again. Now, anyone that's uh, watched the channel will know how critical I used to be of ecotricity or the electric highway, or whatever you want to call them. Obviously, in recent um, months, six or so months ago, uh, GridServe bought out the electric highway across all the motorway services and have subsequently been upgrading all the sites. So, now the one site I did go to was Rugby Services. I've done a video of, of that before, check that out. Um, nice array of, of chargers, turned up, swipe my uh, card, convenient, easy, quick, uh, reasonable price. Um, now the reason why there's no footage is because it was torrential in terms of rain, so unfortunately I didn't manage to get any, um, any footage, but I wanted to kind of, I suppose, share my updated view on the motorway services. Um, like I said, I've been very critical in the past and has it improved? And certainly for me, with uh, no home charging still after three years, um, has it improved f for me? And I've got to say, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Now, with any new company comes along, they always promise the world. Very few actually deliver um, and we've seen a decline in certain companies uh, recently in terms of uh, customer service and support. But we've obviously seen the likes of Instaval, Offspray and a few others really boost um, not only sites, but sites with a number of units and in some cases hubs and, and more units. Now with GridSurf, GridSurf took over the uh, eco, um, Ecotricity's electric highway. It was in an absolute abysmal state and in the past six to eight months, they've actually done what they said they were going to do. First phase was to go through every site and replace the units with chargers, with contactless, um, uh, and make them easy and efficient and, and make them work. Um, now, my experience of, of those so far have been very positive. I've turned up to a few of these now and they've done exactly what they should have done. Um, they're, they're contactless, fast, easy, plug in and, and, and quick and good to go. Now I know there is, at the moment, there is a delay, I think in terms of getting some of that AC charging, it's very much um, Chadima and uh, CCS. And I know the AC charging is coming. That's something that, you know, once now they've done this, that will roll out. Um, it, and it, and it's, it's, it's great, it's great to see they're actually delivering on a promise that they said they were going to do it. It wasn't just hot air that they were actually going to do this. And in many cases, they're saying about um, increasing the busier sites to the numbers likes of rugby. So rugby, I think, I'm trying to remember, but there's at least 10 plus uh, of these chargers plus Tesla superchargers there as well. Um, so it'd be great to see in the coming months and years that those sites typically that would have two um, and that are now working really well, that have expanded to more of those. Um, so I hope to see that over, over the coming months. But I, I must admit, it, it makes my life so much easier as a EV owner with no home charging. It, it allows me to know that if, uh, for instance, the, the journey we'd done to Leicester, I didn't really plan it. I kind of knew that there was rugby up in that thing that was just off, maybe a mile off of where we wanted to go. Um, so I just conveniently stopped there. We charged, we have something to eat, and we went on our, on our journey. Um, when we came back, uh, we didn't stop there. We stopped at another um, services further down, but again, quick, reliable, easy and if you contrast back even a year ago um, I was still ranting about ecotricity and electric highway and how bad they are and how it's just gone 
gone to pot and like you know if you turned up it was like one was working or one wasn't or both weren't working um their signal for the app was terrible which meant you couldn't always start the charge um the good news is is that they weren't working properly sometimes they'd be on free vend which also happens still now like if there's a problem generally they're on free vend until they do resolve it um it's a standard cost across across the board as well and i just think what a huge improvement the actual investment and investment for the right reason has happened and whereas before it was like let's just there's just get it to the not even supporting it and you couldn't get through to them and things like that now you can get through to customer support they're uh, the engineers that look after these units their new modern units in there and like i said quick reliable contactless payment you don't want to be faffing around with rfid cards or apps and and worrying about like whether you get the internet service and things like that you can use contactless payment and stuff like that you can use apple pay google pay all that sort of stuff go out there tap it start the chart plug in go exactly how it should be now obviously the next step will be what they're looking to do which i think if you i can't remember if it's live or not so comments below correct me if i'm wrong but there's going to be an app where basically it can remember your car so you plug into the network once remembers your car the next time you plug in you can just plug in and it should start the car and and charge the car and it will basically charge charge via um your account bit like bit like tesla they plug in and it, it charges off the account so it'd be interesting i want to try that as soon as it's available if it's available then i'll try and try try it as soon as i can um but yeah it's just my kind of bit of an update um a bit more car stuff as well there's more car stuff coming it's going to be an interesting three or four months i think um i'm considering selling my i3 um second hand prices at the moment and are, are excessive so i should get a really good price on it and and what's going to be next um i've also got a test drive coming on sunday of a model 3 um i've never driven one before i've always been in them and sat in them and been in when somebody else has driven them i want to try and see if it's it's right for uh, it's right for me um we'll see i'm i'm looking at all options um likelihood it'll go personal lease um but we'll see we'll see see what i end up with uh the i3 is kind of has been fantastic but it's outlived what i need now um I, i'm looking at a 200 mile range car on the personal lease that's affordable and less than the loan that i'm paying now so um yeah i'll be looking at a few things over the coming months as well so there'll be lots more car stuff coming and um yeah let me know in the comments below what you guys now think of, of the electric highway now that grid server have taken over you know uh, do you feel that it has improved vastly is there still work to be done if so what is that work you know let's let's throw a few comments down there and maybe i'll make a a follow-up video around it but anyway as always thank you to those that have joined my channel in the last month uh, thank you to the supporters as always and uh, till next time i'll see you again very soon bye bye